In this video, I thought I'd go over some of the reasons why, if you're planning on getting a dog or thinking about adopting, you should consider getting a Greyhound. These elegant, sophisticated dogs make great pets, so here's my reasons why, if you're thinking of getting a dog, you should consider adopting a Greyhound. One common misconception about greyhounds is that because of their size, in order to home one you have to live in a very large home. But you don't have to live in Downton Abbey and you don't have to be the queen in order to take care of a greyhound. You don't even have to have a garden or large grounds for them to run around in. Greyhounds spend most of their racing career in kennels or in crates, so even a studio apartment is going to seem large in comparison. Besides, greyhounds spend up to 20 hours sleeping per day, so that's a lot of napping and not much running around. More often than not, Magnus is going to be found somewhere sleeping in our home, either that or going from bed to bed to bed. If he's not doing that and he is awake, he's perhaps in the kitchen looking for some attention. Hey Magnus. Whoop. Or he's basically on this ground for some snacks or some treats. Magnus is always on the lookout for food. You want some fish, Magnus? Or you gotta sit for it. Alright, sit. Good boy. Wait. Alright, take it. Is that good? Yeah. If Magnus isn't doing any of those things, he's perhaps spying on our neighbours, seeing what's happening in the neighbourhood, or he's perhaps playing with some of his toys. He's got lots of toys that he likes to play with. This is a little treat ball with treats inside. If he's not playing with that, he's perhaps playing with his little snake toy. Again, he's got some treats inside, he has to sort of dig at it to get them out. So these interactive toys are really good to keep them entertained, but he'll play with these a couple of times during the day. Again, they are great apartment dogs because they sleep a lot. They are sleeping, snoozing or napping, so this makes them great for apartments and flats. Another common misconception about greyhounds is to do with exercise and walkies. A lot of people think walking a greyhound is going to be a very fast out of control experience where the greyhound is running flat out and they're getting dragged along behind. Or they think they're going to have to walk for miles and miles, like 12 miles in the morning and 12 in the evening just to get the dog exercised. But this is not the case. Walking a greyhound is a very relaxed affair. They like to stop and sniff and smell the environment. They're also very easy to walk on lead, as a lot of them have been trained at the greyhound tracks to walk when they were younger, before races. So you can see here they're very easy to walk, the lead's very slack, and they also do a good job of stopping on command. Again, you can see the lead is very, very slack here. They're very, very easy to walk and they don't need much exercise. The recommendation is three 20 minute walks a day. You can do longer. Some dogs that are older don't even need that much. So you don't have to walk them far. You don't have to walk them fast. And they make great walking companions. Very easy to walk and lead. I like to stop and smell the environment. They're also very striking. So you'll get passers by, stop and want to chat to you about your lovely greyhound. Another reason greyhounds make great pets is they're quiet and calm. At home they're basically just either wandering around or they're sleeping, dozing or roaching. Or trying to look cute while sleeping, dozing or roaching. Or they'll occasionally be up looking for some rubs, nice roach magnus, or some pets or some food. Yeah, who's a cute boy? Me! So lots of days just snoozing from different parts of the house unless there's some food on the go in which case I'll be in the kitchen looking for some food. But they sleep again up to 20 hours a day so that's a lot of napping and not much moving around in between. So expect lots of lounging, lots of snoozing, lots of sleeping, lots of dozing, lots of napping. Lots of chilling, the food, and lastly, it's Roach Magnus. 
and lastly, lots of dreaming. You can tell dreaming because they'll basically either pause or run or the tail will wag. Another great thing about greyhounds is their temperament. They're very good natured, very gentle, very caring dogs. Some dogs show their affection by jumping up upon you or licking you in the face. This is generally not the greyhound way. Greyhounds like to show their affection by coming close to you and looking for rubs and making contact with you. And they like to lean on you. The more they lean on you, the more they like you. But they're also very gentle, very caring, very soothing dogs, which makes them great therapists. They're great for families, great for young people, great for everyone. They're very affectionate, very kind, and very gentle, loving dogs. Another great thing about greyhounds is zoomies. That's the name for when they run really fast. Greyhounds can reach speeds up to over 40 miles per hour and it's really great to see them zoom past you with a big smile on their face and they're absolutely loving what they're doing. It's an absolute joy to watch. And a great part about owning a greyhound. Well, that was my five reasons why you should consider adopting a greyhound. They're absolutely fabulous dogs, they make great pets and they all deserve homes. So if you're interested in getting a greyhound, just contact your local greyhound shelter. They'll give you lots of help, lots of advice and help you with the selection. They are great dogs and I can't recommend them enough. So thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon. And just remember to be sure to click like and subscribe for more Magnus videos. So if you've got nothing else to do, why not watch these other videos here? We've got lots of videos available, so why not check them out and see what Magnus is up to.